Hello everybody, uh, today's lesson is going to be just the end part for the lead for the intro to Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. Uh, I should say now for people who are tuning in on YouTube, this is not exactly note for note uh, the solo as it is played on the album. It's a simplified version for people who are beginners trying to work their way up to it. Okay, so we had our first part of the solo which went like this. part goes okay so uh, the first part of this is very simple it's just a simplified C chord um, so this is your C chord because we're only playing the bottom three strings E B and G we don't really need these two fingers so I'm just going to use my index finger there and part one is just simply E B G next finger on the first fret on the B string. <coughs> okay, part two is another roll off, uh, so you can use your little finger if it's a stretch, or you can use your ring finger, and we're putting it on the third fret on the E string, and then we're rolling it off. So after we hit it, roll off, and then hit the B string and the G string. So it's roll off third fret on the E string, then B string, G string. So those first two parts, E, B, G, then roll off third, B, G. Okay, then we're going to play a D sus chord, which is just playing like a normal D, except that we are lifting our middle finger off the E string at the bottom there, uh, and we're going to hit the E, B, and G strings again. Okay, so that's the third part. Remember, the first part was just E, B, and G with our index finger on the first fret. Second part is roll off the third fret on the E string, roll off, then B, then G. When we play our D chord, we don't have our middle finger on there, and we're just playing E, B, G. So those three parts. Okay. Uh, the fourth part is a double roll off on the E string. Okay, so our frets are the 5th fret and the 2nd fret. So use your little finger or your ring finger on the 5th fret on the E string. We hit that string and we roll it off. Then we go into the 2nd fret with our index finger, hit the string again and roll off. So it's 5, roll off, 2, roll off. Okay, and after that we hit the B string, no fingers, and the E string, also open. So it's 5 fret roll off, 2nd fret roll off, B string, E string. Okay, so all four of those parts back to back. We have holding our index finger on the 1st fret, E, B, G. Then roll off the 3rd fret on the E string, then B, G. Okay, then we have our D, sus chord, so we're not using that middle finger, D, B, G, then we have roll off 5, roll off 2, B, E, like that. Okay, and the very last thing that we do is we just play a harmonic on the 12th fret on the G, B and E strings together. Okay, so to play a harmonic, we put our finger right over the fret, not over the gap between the two frets, but over the metal of the 12th fret, <clears throat> and we're just leaning it on the strings, not holding it down, and as you hit the strings, if you take your finger off, the sound will ring out like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to play through that second part of the lead a couple of times, you've got something to practice too. Uh, and once you've practiced that a few times and you're comfortable with it, and you're ready to put the first and the second part together, I'm going to do a combined rhythm and lead for the entire uh, intro. Cool, okay, so this is just the second part twice, I'll count to six before we start. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, 
in second time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool, okay. And here's the whole lead played together with the rhythm. Mm -hmm. 